Hi, my name is Max. Welcome to my tutorial series on modern front-end web development workflow using Gulp, Browserify, SaaS, and Jade. I want to show you how you can use Gulp to easily create an automated build process for your web development projects. I really want to keep things organized for my next project, so I thought of the following structure. I'm going to have a files folder, which is going to contain all my static assets, like fonts and images. In my JS folder, I'm going to put all my script files. For these, we'll use Browserify as a module loader, and we'll also want to minify and concatenate them into one single file for production. Inside the SAS folder, we'll have all our SAS files, which will be compiled to CSS, then minified and concatenated to a single file as well. And for this project, I really want to try using Jade as a preprocessor for HTML because I really don't like writing HTML and Jade is very fast and very clean in my opinion. Our build process will include copying our static assets like fonts and images from our files source folder to our build output folder. We'll minify, concatenate our JavaScript files and apply Browserify to them. We're going to compile our SAS files, minify and concatenate them as well. And we'll be compiling our Jade templates to static HTML. To use Gulp, you will need to have Node.js installed. Then you will need to install Gulp globally by running npm install gulp-g. Once you have Node.js and Gulp installed, we can get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a Gulp plugin to compile Jade templates. Okay, I'm going to create a directory called front-end workflow. I'll cd into that and then load it up in Sublime Text. Now I'm just going to create a simple Jade template. I'm going to put that inside the folder source, templates, and call the file index.jade. For the purpose of this demo, I'm just going to add some boilerplate code. Now that our little Jade template is done, let's write the code to automatically compile this to HTML. As with pretty much every project that leverages Node.js, we're going to need a package.json file. And we're just going to leave that blank. Now let's pull in some dependencies. We need a local installation of Gulp. We'll save that as a development dependency. There's already a Gulp plugin for compiling Jade templates, so we'll pull that in as well, and also save it to our development dependencies. As you can see, Gulp and Gulp Jade have been added as dev dependencies to our package.json file. Now let's write some Gulp code. First, we need a Gulp file. This is the equivalent to a grunt file if you've used grunt before. Getting started with Gulp is really easy. First, we need to pull in the modules that we just installed via npm. Now we will tell Gulp to create a task called Jade. In here, we're going to take every file that is within our source folder, our templates folder, and inside there any subfolder and has the Jade extension. Then we're going to pipe that to our Jade plugin that we just pulled in. Then we're going to take every compiled HTML file and pipe it to an output folder. We can run the task we just created by typing gulp jade into our terminal. Let's see what the compiled HTML looks like. Inside our builds development directory, there is an HTML file that looks just as expected. We can also open this file in the browser. Thank you very much for watching. This was my first YouTube tutorial, so if you have any feedback, uh, I'd really be grateful for that. This was only part one of a series, and I'll be uploading the next parts very soon. So feel free to subscribe to the channel or follow me on Twitter, and I'll let you know when they are out. Thanks again. Bye-bye.